All right, guys, welcome back to 25 Days of Flutter. So in this second video, we are going to be taking a look at an introduction to Dart programming. So go ahead and search up dartpad.dev. And this is an online IDE that will allow us to write Dart code and run it directly in the browser. So Dart is the language behind Flutter and is very similar to Java. So if you know Java, you know, uh, for the most part, Dart, or at least you know enough to be able to start developing and you know all the basics. So we're gonna start with Dart basics and work our way through the fundamentals of Dart. And at the end of this, you will have enough Dart knowledge to begin programming in Flutter. So first off, is declaring variables. So in any language, you have variables. In Dart, we can declare them as such. If we want an integer, we can say int my int. We can do that. We can do a string like this. And we can use single, or we can use double. Uh, quotes just like that and make sure to add a semicolon at the end as well Another type is the boolean Just like that and these are the only three variables I'm going to be using because they are the most common in flutter Now if we want to print out these values we can do that by using print very simple to do in dart and this is good for debugging purposes and then we can pass in anything we want so let's print out my int and we can go up here and we can run that and we should see one all right there we go we get one in the console we can also print out my string and we should see hello up here. There we go. And then we can print out the bool as well. Next, we're gonna look at arrays. So arrays are pretty useful in Flutter. And as you'll soon see, uh, the bottom navigation bar utilizes an array. So to declare an array, we can say var. We'll say array, and we'll set that equal to an empty array. We can pass in whatever we want. So we can pass in item one, we can pass in integers, we can pass in uh, floating numbers, we can pass in booleans, just like that. And if we want to print that out, we can say print array, and that should print out our array. And if we want to access a specific item, we can do that via indexing. So this is index 0, index 1, 2, and 3. So if we want index 1, we should get 2 printed out. And then we also have some array uh, methods. So we can say print array dot is empty and this will print out true or false so it should say false we can also say array dot first that will print out the first item which is item one now let's take a look at some control statements so we have the if statement so we can say var i equals to three and we'll say if i is greater than 3 print true add our semicolon and if we run this we should see uh, nothing there we go now what if we want to print something well we can add an else statement and then we can print false make sure to always add that semicolon Right, and 
this is not going to print anything because it is equal to 3. So let me just change uh, this to 4. We'll run that, and we should see false. Now we also have while loops, so we can say while i is less than 5, we'll say print less than 5, increment i, we can do some shorthand, and let's de declare our variable i to be 0. And then we can run this. And then the last conditional loop is the for loop. So for var i equals 0, i is less than 5, i plus plus, print i. Go ahead and run that. We should see 0 through 4, just like that. And then another cool thing we can do is Say we want to check if these numbers are even and print true or false. So we can say print i modulus 2 equals to 0. So if i modulus 2 is equal to 0, it will print true. If it's not, it will print false. There we go. So we get true, false, true, false, true. Now say we want to print something other than this. We can say question mark and then we can print even and then we'll use a uh, colon odd. Let's see what that does. There we go. So we even, odd, even, odd, even. So I'm going to add one more thing to this. If we say dollar sign and then braces we can pass in variables. So we'll say i is even, or we'll say i is odd. Now if we run that, we should get some output. And this right here is a very useful thing, especially in Flutter. And just to recap, we, are, we have an expression here so if this expression is equal to this, in this case we're using numbers, but it could be anything. So if it is, display this. If it's not, display this. And you'll see very soon how useful this one simple line will be in Flutter. So that's all I'm going to cover today. This video is really all you need to know about the Dart programming language, or at least enough to know to get you started. And as we progress along, if we need to know more, I'll introduce you to that. All right, so that was an introduction to Dart programming. And in the next video, we are going to open up our IDE and start coding in Dart and Flutter. And we're going to look at widgets. And you'll see that widgets build up and make up everything in Flutter.